Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. We're back playing Human Resource Machine. This is episode number... 15? And I've had a bit of an epiphany. A bit of an epiphany, a bit of a what the hell have you been doing, Nock? You are so stupid. Uh, on the exclusive lounge. So, trying to think about this, and it came to me. Why on earth am I trying to subtract two numbers to tell if they are the same? When I have an is negative command. We don't need to use subtraction at all. Anyway, so we're going to grab it from the inbox. And if it's negative, so we're going to go to here. First negative. Okay. Else first. Positive. Okay. So if it's negative, we can then copy another one from the inbox. If that is negative, same sign. I can't believe I didn't see this before. So if it was the same sign, we want to send a zero to the outbox. Copy from here. Send to outbox. Okay, so the first is positive. So we're going to take it from the inbox. And if it's negative not negative, it's the same sign. Correct? If it is negative, it's different, so we're going to the first plus, so then if it's negative, we want to copy from here, send to our box jump. So we've got the first negative here, but if it's positive, we want to jump back to here. That should do it. He says. doing wrong. My first number is negative. All right, step through. First number is positive. Second number is negative, so they're different signs. So then we want to do that, right? I had it so clearly in my head, and now I am failing miserably. Negative. This should be a one. This should be a one. Oh, I can't believe I like screwed that up. Oh, we need to eradicate one step. All right, well, let's try and eradicate a step, shall we? Now, let me copy this first, and we'll stick it here, because clearly we don't need that anymore. 
Um, we're probably not going to want that either, so let's get rid of that one as well. Okay, so something I was I went back to and looked again. I'm going to clear this again, actually. So we'll take from the inbox, and then we're going to jump to A here, and then we've got an outbox here. Okay, so that's where we're going to outbox every time. <coughs> So we're going to return to here rather than returning back to the inbox. I think this is more of what Team Spin was, was talking about in, in the previous. So, negative. One. NV. Don't know why I say NV for. And then we've got one. Positive. Okay, so if it's negative. So we've got a positive number there. If. Okay, so. So if it's positive there, we're here. If it's negative, we're going to do that. Else, we're going to copy from here because it was the same. And we'll jump to there. first one is negative. Copy it from the inbox. If it's negative again, we want to copy from do that, right? If it was negative, go to here. If it's negative again, go back to there. Get rid of that. I don't need that. So what we're we doing here? Here we're jumping if the first one So that's a positive and a negative, right? So we want to copy from one. I think I may have messed up somewhere. One. Oh. Okay, what if I then put an um, inbox in there as well? Inbox, outbox. But then we're at 13 commands, but hey, it's reducing it by one, right? We're just about one, but we still need to optimize it further. Different. Maybe I do this. Maybe I do that instead. All right, we've got the size challenge, but we need to reduce a step.
Okay. I mean, I guess I could do... Hold on. Let's, let's copy this. Let's keep a copy of this. Paste it here. So here, instead of jumping here, though... I get rid of... Get rid of that jump. Is that right? Jump after the inbox. Oh, wait a second, I gotta copy this again. I'm getting all confused. Alright, so. negative, and then it's positive, output a 1. Not sure how that really. I don't think that really helps, does it? Still gives me exactly the same amount of steps. Definitely need three inboxes. I'm not seeing how I can reduce it because I've effectively got the same Exactly the same code. Just reversed, haven't I? When we look at it like this, 
Inbox negative, copy jump. Copy jump. Inbox negative, copy jump, copy jump. Okay, so the only thing I'm thinking now is what if we get rid of that and that and we just have some manual outboxes in here. Does that improve it at all, the slight stepwise at all? does there we go boom all right green lights all the way for that one all right so when did we I got green lights now all the way up to 13 I think we tried these ones didn't we I've still I've, I've been trying to think about the prime factory one and ultimately we first of all need to create a set of prime numbers, I think. So what, what does this do here? I don't even know what this does. Yeah. So if this is like a base, a base program, that's giving me, that's giving me two, right? That's our first prime number. So then we could. Copy it to 21. We'd need to bump it once. Then we could copy that to 22. And we'll need to bump that twice. Two, three, five. The next prime number would be seven. I don't think we're going to go any higher than this. Okay, so we have that. So that, that would basically that'll give us our prime numbers, right? Okay. So that gives us prime numbers. So... See, 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3. 10 would be 2 times 5. 20 would be 2 times 2 times 5. So they're all got prime factors. So, I mean, I guess what we could do is we could take from the inbox, copy it to zero. All right, so here we're going to set primes. All right, so that's a one-time deal. So we can move all this down to here, okay? So any jumping we do... We're just going to jump back to here because we don't need to affect these primes. It's a one time setup. So we copy that to there. So then what we're going to do is. I guess we're going to like want some sort of count. So subtract from here.
copy to there. Right, if it's zero, we know it's a whole number. Okay. If it's negative, then we have a remainder, so it can't be divided by that number. And then if it's neither, we need to sub again. So we would jump to here. So I think if there's a remainder, we can't divide by it. So I would... rid of them here actually because I think we can probably use our array to so what would be the next one it'd be nine wouldn't it we'll just go up to nine anyway okay so then we're gonna copy to zero 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 one one Get our base value. So we we'll copy it to there. Subtract from two. So if it's a remainder, do something. If it's a whole number, then we're going to do. to count oh, so if it's a whole number copy from there copy to here whole number we're going to need to increment this and then we're going to go back to here um, here we want a ray position which means we're also going to want to copy this to there as well so if we have a remainder I want to copy from here to here and then we want to increment the array position and copy from the value and then jump from to here and
yeah. This one's tough, man. This one's very, very tough. Do that, but then we don't need to copy from there. be a jump of zero. I'll just jump back to there. Something like that. Yeah, I'm still not convinced on that one, guys. So um, I'm going to leave this episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we will continue on trying to optimize a few of the others. Um, please let me know, though, if you are still enjoying these videos. I We're kind of like slowly getting to a point where progress is growing to a halt. So I don't want to keep like doing these videos if um, people aren't enjoying them anymore. So let me know in the comments whether or not I should keep going uh, with the videos. I'll definitely do another episode. And then after that, I don't know. Thank you very much for watching there, guys. Leave your comments down below. And as always, I've been Oki. You've been awesome. See ya.